so in this autolist first lecture we plan to complete these topics so step by step we will be covering structure of autolist st statement what is variable setting variable values using set key function rules for var variable naming that means how you can name a variable what are the rules for that then giving variable values on autocad command line so if you set a variable how to view that value within autocad command prompt Th using variables in autocad commands then whatever variables we have created how we can use th those variables in autocad commands then we will be covering the different types of autolips data type what are the types of data used in autolips and uh, we will also covering the basic arithmetic functions so this is our first lecture so we will start with structure of autolith statement so you always have to remember that the autolith statement start with left parenthesis so there uh, always any autolith statement will start with left par parenthesis and after left parenthesis comes the function so what activity you want to do that needs to be put after the function so suppose, suppose we take the example of setting the variable values using set key function so uh, if we want to use the set key function so we will uh, write here set key so that is the name of the function after that you have to give the space and the arguments required by that particular function so basically set key function required the name of the variable that will be used to store the value so suppose we take a variable name as number so i give variable name as no so variable name should be in alphabet uh, you can make a variable name of alphanumerical variable name you can give so it it should be a meaningful name so that you can understand for what purpose you have created that variable so suppose uh, so at least function will start with left parenthesis then you have to give name of the function so in this case we are given set queue then sp space then give the name of the variable and after that what value you want to store to that variable suppose i want to store 5 into that variable so i will give 5 and you have to close the auto lips function with closing bracket so this uh, we can say that the structure of auto lips function any auto lips statement uh, can will start with let parenthesis then give the name of the function then give the argument so in this case in the case of set queue arguments are no variable name and the value and after that you have to press the enter so here the uh, value is written five value is written so in this way you can set a value to a variable so if i want to check what value has been stored in number variable for that i have to use exclamatory sign and give the name of the variable so i have given no so enter so i can see that the name of the variable the content of no variable is 5 so uh, this no variable you can use in your commands also in your autocad commands too suppose i want to create a circle of radius 5 so i know that the content of no is 5 so here i will give the name of the com i will give the command circle so he is asking me for the center point then he is asking me for the radius so in the place of giving 5 i will put the exclamatory sign and name of the variable that is no and enter so it has created a circle of radius 5 so in this way you can use the variables within autocad commands also so that is the structure